Rubio of Florida also expressed concerns about potential flaws in our nation's border control policies, and he added that those flaws need to be addressed as the debate over immigration reform continues in Washington. Joining me now to explain is the man himself, Florida Senator Marco Rubio. Senator, welcome uh, back to the program. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you for having me back. You know, when they say on the one hand, they give us one story 24 hours ago, yeah. now they contradict themselves. Uh, right. This guy was pointed out as a potential radical extremist. I I'm concerned we're back to Benghazi and blaming a YouTube video here, Senator. Where, where have I seen this dance before? Well, first of all, I think the FBI continues to learn about what actually happened and didn't happen. But here's what's clear. They did know he left. And in fact, what happened was after they checked him out, they said they didn't find anything. They kind of closed the case. And then he comes back into the country. They were aware of that as well. But nobody followed up because the case had been closed. And that's problematic. I don't know how much they know about what he did when he was over there. But here's the bottom line. The bottom line is we have now an emerging problem here, which we knew was going to be a problem. And that is people living in the United States, maybe citizens, maybe lived here their whole lives, who are being radicalized by things they're reading and hearing and on the internet and otherwise who are learning how to make bombs on the internet, etc. This is the growing face of, of the terrorist threat facing our country. It's a very serious threat and we need to stop playing political correctness with it and identify it for what it is. This is terrorism. This, it, just because it wasn't organized in a cave somewhere in the Middle East doesn't not make it terrorism. This is terrorism. We need to deal with it that way. Senator, there was one article that said we had an increase since 9-11-2001 about 500% of, of Saudi student visas, people coming to this country. Culturally, if you come from a country like Saudi Arabia where women cannot drive, women must be covered, women cannot go out in, in public without a male that they are related to and they have the morality mm -hmm. police, when there's such a cultural difference, do, do we need to consider right. that when we're thinking about allowing people into this country, when we have the yeah. choice of who we can let in? But let me say this about that, and I said this the other day. If there are flaws that are exposed by this incident, we need, to, we need to understand what those flaws are and correct them. So you point, let me give you something that is a factor that we take into account. We do not admit people, or we are very reticent to admit people here from other countries on visitors' visas or, or, or tourist visas if it's a country where people tend to overstay. Some countries don't have an overstay problem. It is easier for them to come visit than people that are coming from countries that overstay. In essence, we take that into account. What is the likelihood of this individual to come here and overstay their visa? Why why wouldn't we do that when it comes to national security? In essence, we should be able to analyze. These are individuals that are coming from a part of the world that keeps feeding into this terrorist network. We should be concerned about that. I don't want to generalize everybody, but there is no right to come into the United States. It's something we allow people to do. There's no right to be able to come here from abroad and study. And so we should be very careful about who we allow in and take into account every single uh, measure or every single factor that we think could lead to somebody being more likely to be uh, possibly a member of a terrorist organization Senator, a lot or of, involved in terror. A lot of conservatives have had skepticism over the immigration bill, and this was prior to the terror yeah. attack in, in Boston. Some have said that there was apparently secret emails between you, Grover Norquist, and, and Cato over the issue, and, and that you changed your position a little bit. I want to give you a chance yeah. to respond to these things. Well, I, I don't know about there's no, yeah, yeah, there, First of all, I don't know about anything about any secret emails with anybody. I don't secretly email anyone, so I don't know what that's referring to. Uh, there, I think what they're talking about is uh